For more on all the legal issues surrounding the former president, let's welcome in attorney Mark Reichel. Mark, Trump wants the Supreme Court to intercede against Biden after that third indictment. Now, D.C. court denied Trump's lawyers the motion to extend Monday's deadline after that Truth Social post. Uh, if you go after me, I'm coming after you. Uh, talk of fast-tracking a federal January 6th trial. How realistic is that to happen before the election? Well, and look, in federal court, the federal judges are in control of everything. And Congress has been very clear that the people of the United States, the government, actually also has the right to a speedy trial. The Constitution talks about the citizens having a right to the speedy trial. But for a long time now, we've made it the law that the government, the people have the right to a speedy trial as well. Because, you know, finalization of these type of issues that are, that are pending that we know about, that has a real normative, a positive effect on society. So the government, I'm positive, the way this indictment was done, and how they've handled themselves since is really going to push harder than I've ever seen in 32 years now in federal court for a speedy trial. And I, I can tell you why. That They immediately said in court, Your Honor, we want to get a protective order. And they said this before his tweets that went out. And they said the reason is we want to give them all the discovery now. In federal court, it's called trial by ambush. Normally, the government actually doesn't have to give you a lot of evidence until the trial starts. It's tough to deal with. I've been a defense attorney in federal court for 32 years. It's trial by ambush. This time, they said, Your Honor, here's what we want to do. Give them everything. At the arraignment, give them everything. When the government does that, that's because they don't want to hear any complaints from the defense about, we need more time. They've just given us some stuff. They're going to give them everything now. But the problem with that is, as you can imagine, this is almost like a national security case. There have been emails, text messages, cooperators, secret grand jury proceedings, and so forth, wiretaps. And all of that stuff is, you know, very confidential. But they're going to give it out now to start this going quickly, but they're asking for protective order so that the Trump campaign, as well as the Trump defense, can't use that to influence public opinion, to intimidate potential witnesses, and or as well to influence potential jurors. And Mark, you've read the indictment, and we heard Bill Barr over the weekend uh, talk about how he thought it was rock solid and one of the best uh, speaking indictments he's ever read. Do you agree with that? It, well, look, every indictment can be termed that way. I, I don't disagree, but I have some thoughts also about how Trump is going to effectively at least get far enough along on a defense to this. However, um, it's done really well. It was thought out. Uh, the federal government, usually prior to an indictment, pre-tries a case, believe it or not, where they'll have a conference room filled with individuals. They will pre-try the case and look for the holes and then stop, pause, go out and find where that evidence is, fill in the holes before indictment. Mark, Clearly, a couple of other questions for you here quickly. A hearing in Georgia next week on Trump's, uh, and his attorneys wanting to disqualify District Attorney Fannie Willis. Is that possible? No, it's highly unlikely. Disqualifying a, a, a district attorney or a prosecutor is very, very rare. And Mark, last question I have for you uh, this week. What do you expect the uh, federal judge in D.C. to say about uh, this move to delay? Well, I think that's actually going to be on the 28th. They're going to be in front of the district judge eventually, who's going to set the trial date then. And I, I'm looking for a rocket docket. I bet you you're going to see this trial in the spring of 24. She's going to tell Florida to trail behind her. Wow. Mark Reichel, thank you so much for joining us this evening. My pleasure. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.